Hey everyone, I have a really exciting video for you guys today. I'm going to be talking about my closet essentials and if I were to make like a capsule wardrobe, what I would pick. These are pieces that I tend to reach for most of my closet throughout all the seasons. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is something that I think isn't everyone's wardrobe and that is a good pair of jeans. So I've picked out a few of my favorite jeans from my wardrobe. Also, I think if you're just trying to find some staple pieces, no holes is the way to go. They're going to last way longer and a lot more versatile than a really holy pair of jeans. They can be really cute, but they don't last in my closet. Obviously, denim, you have to pick a shape that fits best to your body, so I personally don't like something that's super high-waisted. I like it to be kind of almost mid-rise and hitting with that V pattern in the front. This is the most flattering style on me. That's not going to be it for everyone, but if you haven't tried it out, I highly suggest you should, especially if you think you have a similar body type to me. So the first pair that I think my all-time, all-time favorite jeans, and these were my brothers. They are Levi 511s. I did a DIY where I overcrossed them to have that a goldie overcrossed look. I wear these all the time. They're a little tapered at the ankle, so they look super cute with booties to dress up a little bit. And the lighter wash can also be dressed down. So those are my all-time, all-time favorite. And then another pair of that... Excuse me, Ernie. This pair that I think are somehow even a little more trendy than the Levi's I showed you. They, again, have that overcross pattern but these are from princess polly and they are that super baggy like, skater kind of fit i've talked about these recently because i just got them but i've been wearing them non-stop they're so comfortable i love the baggy jeans and they're a true denim they're not the stretchy spandex or anything like that and then the last pair they're not my favorite style ever but they are really flattering and i always need them they remind me a lot of like v pair from redone that every like blogger has but i'm not spending that much on a pair of jeans these were on sale for 50 bucks at aritzia they might have been 25 when they were having their crazy sale they were really cheap so i decided to pick them up they're good at darker denim because i don't have that and they're the arlo high rise straight so if you've been looking for that redone type fit i think these are perfect they can be dressed up a lot more than the other two I showed and yeah they're just a little bit more like professional. The next pants I wanted to talk about are a pair of white pants and a pair of black pants. So my white pants are jeans. These are straight leg almost like wide leg high-waisted white denim jeans from ASOS. These are really nice if you just decide to wear something really basic and then you put these on you look a lot more fashionable and put together i love wearing these white jeans even in the winter even though i know that's like a fashion no-no so i'll wear an all-white outfit and i have like a cream white colored long super puff i'll wear with this that i think is so cute and then in the summer you can't go wrong with white denim um if you are gonna get white denim to make it look more trendy and like up to date just try and stay away from skinny jeans or capri skinny jeans uh, a wider like white denim i think is really fashionable and super cute right now and then for my black pants leather pants these are also something that you could be wearing just like a t-shirt and tennis shoes and instead of wearing jeans you put on these and you look so cute i'm obsessed with my leather pants these are from img they're still on the website everything i can link below will be linked below and they're more of a boot cut straight leg these are high-waisted and literally go with everything you can wear them with like black leather boots sneakers heels anything orate was the perfect sponsor for this video because you all know how important jewelry is to my everyday outfits i've been loving orate jewelry because they're ethically made in new york empowering women with the best jewelry without sacrificing style. They're also helping out the community by giving a book to a child in need with every piece sold. Orate was actually started between two friends that went to lunch and one was talking about how her overpriced ring had turned her finger green. They were just fed up with the jewelry market. I can't tell you how many times I've bought jewelry that turns my
my skin green for way too much money. Where it was founded with the desire to shake up the jewelry market by offering modern women beautiful designs, amazing quality at affordable prices, and ethically sourced pieces that they can wear every day. Because Orate sells directly to you without the middleman markup, they can offer the same quality as traditional Fifth Avenue brands at a fraction of the cost. Orate hacked the jewelry market, making real gold accessible. For 15% off your first Orate order, go to oratenewyork.com slash Lainey and use my code Lainey at checkout. And that's A-U-R-A-T-E New York dot com slash Lainey with the code Lainey for 15% off. So the pieces that I wear are always real gold, so I never worry about them tarnishing or breaking or anything like that. I can keep it on all the time, so even if I am in a rush or putting on a really simple outfit, my jewelry is always there to stand out and kind of really elevate my look no matter what I'm wearing. Okay, so that's my jewelry. I obviously stack it up. Next, let's get into something I find so essential, and that's the black boot. I wasn't going to show these because I didn't want to be so aggressively basic, but I still love them. That's the Platform Doc Martens. These are the Jaden Doc Martens. If you like this kind of style, I couldn't recommend these more. They're such high quality. I know they can be really pricey, but I actually got mine off Depop, so make sure to check out Depop or Poshmark or even eBay, Facebook Marketplace, before you just go straight on the website you might be able to catch a deal. I wear these all the time in the winter, in the summer. They're very versatile and so cute, but I could see why somebody is annoyed of these or doesn't want to buy them. You've held out this long. You're like, I'm not getting Doc Martens. I just, I just don't want them. Okay, these are another pair of black boots that I really like, and they're different than Docs. I ended up wearing these so much last winter. They're so comfortable. They're from Zara, so they're a lot cheaper than the Doc Martens. Um, I think these went on sale at the end of the year for like under $50. They're a dupe for the Prada boots, but yeah, I really like these. You don't want to get docks, which I totally understand why. And then these are good for somebody who wants to be a little more dressed up or when you're going out dressing up. These little black booties are from ASOS. They have a square toe and a really thick heel. That's what I look for in any kind of black booties. These boots are just so sleek and the silhouette of them is beautiful. If you're looking for a good pair of black booties, check out ASOS. I don't know if these exact ones are there, but they always have similar ones and these are so comfy. Next shoe essential and my only other shoe essential are a pair of white leather sneakers. If you guys watch my sneaker collection, you know I have something against Air Force Ones. I'm just really sick of seeing them the same way somebody could be sick of seeing Docs, so I refuse to get them. They're a great shoe option though. I know so many people love them, but if you're sick of seeing them like I am, these are a great alternative. They are the Adidas Rivalries. They're super comfortable. They're always like 60 bucks on Adidas's website. On Urban Outfitters, they're 70 to 80, but on Adidas, I'm pretty sure they're 60. So check them out there. And then I ripped the laces because I've already said this on the Incredible Haul. And my brother gave me Jordan laces just because they're what we had, so high top Jordan laces. And now I wrap them around my ankle and I think it's cute and different. My brother makes fun of me, but I think it's cute and different. They go with everything which is the whole point of creating a capsule wardrobe. I wanted to talk about two things that I'm wearing right now. First is this Little White Hanes tank top. It's just ribbed undershirt. They come in packs of like six from Amazon or Target or wherever. I found that they are my favorite. I've spent so much money on Little White tank tops trying to find the perfect one that's like not too see-through and doesn't like bunch weird at the armpits or has a good neckline or stuff like that and this is my favorite just just saying something i think it averages out to like three bucks a tank top so i have so many of these let me get another one so as you can tell i crop a lot off and i just cut the bottom i love that i can cut them as long or as short as i want so this one's a little bit shorter and this one's a little longer i just do whatever and try to like add some variation because I have so many of them. And then the bra that I'm wearing and I'm always wearing, I get so many questions about the bras I wear under my clothes because this bra's amazing. Uh, it's from Airy and it's unlined. I will link it down below. I don't know the exact name of it off the top of my head, 
but I got this bra in like six colors and it's the only thing I wear. There's no padding in it though, so it's completely unlined, but it still has an underwire to hold your boobs. I like, I don't really nip and if I do, I kind of don't mind it. Like, I, it doesn't bother me, I'm not like grossed out by it. If you are concerned with nipping, don't be, but if you are, I don't suggest this bra. You'll definitely, it'll show right through it. So next is my black little midi dress. I have two of these. This one is from Zara. I wear this so often and I just did a video, 15 ways to style a dress or rewear a dress. I did it with a mini one, but the midi dress would have worked just as well with that video. Love this dress with sneakers, with sandals, with heels, throw on a leather jacket, throw on uh, a button up, a button down, whatever wear something underneath it. It's so cute and so versatile. I think if you're gonna have a dress in your wardrobe, it should be a black bodycon midi dress. You really look so put together wearing this and you didn't try it all. Okay, next piece that I think is essential to my wardrobe is a white button down. This one is thrifted and it's in a size 16 and a half, is that the size? Or is it 34, 35? But it's just a men's white cotton button down. And I've been throwing this on over so many pieces and also with biker shorts or any kind of shorts underneath, you can kind of make it look like a dress. Cinch it in with a belt, throw it on like a little jacket or flannel, button it up, tuck one side in, asymmetrical, tie it up. There's so many ways to wear a white button down. I, I don't understand how somebody couldn't or wouldn't have it in their closet. I think that it just looks super cute with your hair all pulled back, some big signs, very Hailey Bieber-esque. Did a video on that too. I just suggest if you're looking for one, go to the thrift store. They sell them so overpriced everywhere when the thrift store is flooded with men's button downs. And then also I really do suggest buying a men's one because they're oversized and there's so many more ways to wear an oversized button down. If you buy a women's one and it's a little more fitted, I feel like you're a little more, you're a little more held back with your options. So there's that, that's my take on that. Next item that I don't think I could live without is a leather jacket. This first one that I have is a leather blazer actually super oversized. I thrifted this and it actually has little shoulder pads in it and it's just actual perfection. I wear this leather jacket all the time in the winter. It's big enough to layer pieces underneath, which I think is really important in a leather jacket. You can dress down this leather blazer so much or dress it up. I wore it on New Year's with a body on black mini dress and heels. And then I used to wear it to class all the time with like a matching sweatsuit underneath. <laughs> this is one of the best purchases I've ever made. Seriously, check the thrift store for oversized leather jackets. Every time I go, I find one and it hurts me not to just buy it, so. So obviously when I'm showing you these, you don't need every kind. I'm just trying to give you some options. And if I didn't do YouTube, I would most definitely only have one of these. It's just since I make outfit videos, I do have more clothes than the average person and honestly more clothes than I'd like to have but be, trying to recreate and create different outfits and different styles I do feel like I need more things in my closets but this next leather jacket I just got a couple months ago and it's a leather kind of bomber jacket this is in an XL but I really like this style of leather jacket I think that this one is just all around a little more casual maybe those jackets are more of like spring and fall jackets for you there's this guy so this one is more of a suede it's from lovers and friends but i told you guys my secret hack on revolve i go on the sale and then go from low to high go on in the summer and look at the jackets and this lovers and friends jacket was originally like 400 and i think i got it for 50 bucks it was something insane so i got it in the middle of summer and it was last summer though so i've worn it and it's so warm um these fleece lined leather jackets are so stylish they're more of like a moto jacket if you live in a colder area i suggest this opposed to just a normal leather jacket if you're worried about being cold and then the last two clothing pieces that i think are really important in my wardrobe and things i couldn't give up are statement jackets living in a colder climate um, a lot of the times all you see is the jacket so 
you have one winter jacket, you're gonna feel like you're wearing the same outfit every day in the winter. Something I've been loving are statement jackets. These are my two favorite ones, but I have a lot of jackets, <laughs> okay? <laughs> a lot. This one is so fun. It's my mom's vintage little fur suede jacket. I think that this is so my style and so fun and adds so much to a look. Wearing all black underneath it, like black jeans and a black hoodie with this on top is super cute, Doc Martens. Or dressing it up with the night out to wear like little booties with it. Even the white jeans with this outfit or with this jacket is really cute. I will try and link similar jackets down below. And then this guy. You guys know what's coming. You already know. Who is this? It's my Jeff Gordon NASCAR jacket. So this jacket is in a 2XL, really big on me, but it's so great for layering things underneath and I can still make it pretty warm in the winter. I get so many compliments on this jacket. I love this jacket. And like I've said before, go on eBay, search Jeff Gordon NASCAR jacket if you want the ones with the flames on the sleeves, which I think that's the coolest jacket. I feel like it's hard for my brain to work right now because I'm in like summer outfits and all I really wear is that dress and these tank tops with jeans. I was trying to think like, what do I wear in the winter? What do I wear like in the fall time? When I tell you I rely so much on my jackets, I rely so much on my jackets. So what I normally end up pairing underneath my jackets are hoodies and crew necks. This is my favorite crew neck though. If you go on the Hanes website, Champion is also sold there and it's not the expensive Champion, it's like the bulk wholesale kind of Champion. So this isn't expensive at all. I think this probably was around 15 bucks. I also go to the outlet at Hanes, but it's this Champion crew neck and I stole it from Brandon. It's just got the little Champion logo on the sleeve, but I just love how oversized and like soft and worn in this is. I wear it all the time. I really like wearing baggy clothing and then a baggy jacket over it. I have this in gray also, it's just in the wash. And that's what I always wear, always. I was gonna try and talk about purses a little bit, but honestly, I can't pick. I don't really wear purses enough to like have a good grasp on them. I obviously show them a lot in my videos when pairing them with an outfit because they do make outfits look so much cuter. But day-to-day -day life, I do shove a lot of stuff in my pockets. I don't want to talk about purses when I don't really know anything about purses. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was really hard for me to figure out, so I hope it was useful to somebody. Make sure to check out the description for all the products linked below and R8 Jewelry for 15% off with the promo code Laney. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.